Good morning, church, and happy Father's Day to dads and grandpas and uncles and fathers-to-be and men who have been like fathers. Uh, it is good that all together we are called to be the body of Christ, the family of faith. And so I hope you celebrate well today. Uh, get outside uh, before the rain comes, maybe. Uh, a few announcements, uh, very few from me, actually, and then I'll hand it to Lynn. First of all, I want to thank the elders who have made their phone calls. Uh, currently, the elders are working through the entire uh, database to get a hold of everyone in our church and just do a check-in. And the vast majority of these phone calls have been positive and encouraging and hopeful. What a gift. But another gift has been the difficult discovery of the stories of those who unintentionally fell through the cracks this past year and a half. And so it is with deep sadness and apology uh, that we offer the sympathy, love, and prayers almost a year later to Marianne Cassie on the passing of her husband Keith as well as to Bill Ford on the passing of his wife, Shirley. Please continue to keep Bill and Marianne and their families in your prayers. The sympathy, love, and prayers of this congregation are extended also to Claire Collins, whose mother, Elsie, recently passed away. I believe it was June 15th. We are so grateful to be able to reconnect with all of you through these elder phone calls. And so thank you again to those who have made their calls. But I assure you that if you haven't heard from an elder yet, do not fret. They still have another 10 days to go in the campaign. Uh, so expect your call. It's coming. Uh, so thank you for that. Some good family news as well. Uh, we celebrate together the safe arrival of wee little August Rhodes Robert, who was born on June 14th to Clayton and Tatiana. This would be a first grandchild for Herman and Debbie Leinigan, and great-grandchild for our beloved Myrna. So blessings to the family. And then truly, besides family news, my only announcement is to remind you that the AGM, the annual general meeting of the congregation, will be held virtually following this worship service. If you are on the email list, you will have already received all the documents and instructions in your inbox. If you are not on the email subscription list, please send an email to office at knoxoakville.com anytime over the next hour and Connie can send you all the documents you will need including the agenda uh, for our virtual meeting. We're going to meet on Google Meets at 1130 and we're going to give it a try. We'll see how it goes but we're not going to fret about it. We can do hard things and we can do new things. Uh, so I'll see you there at 1130. Again, if you do not have it in your inbox, please email office at knoxoakville.com and we will do a little tutorial at the opening of the AGM just to help everyone get comfortable with doing a meeting online. And I think that's it for me. So Lynn, oh, oh, one more thing. I want to say thank you to Jan for preaching last Sunday. Thank you. That was brilliant. Thanks. I'm talking to Jan because he's here with us. Isn't that exciting? Okay, Lynn, go.